Hey guys, welcome back to Screen Reaper Connect you for another video of Fresh Shadows. Hopefully you're doing well, looking after yourselves, and hopefully you're having a great weekend, right? Uh so today we're on Mr. Ram's account. We are doing a uh champion showcase basically on a champion who is a goddess in the whole of uh P versus E and P versus P uh champion and it's one that we know very very well and I kinda of wanted to cover it on one of the areas where some people use her, uh, like a lot of knowledge players, um, a lot of knowledge players, but also like a lot of players I see sleeping on her. And we've done some funky things for this account to kind of make the one build work everywhere where Mr. Ram needs her to work. So uh, let's go ahead and do this uh, and show you what's going on. So I recently did uh, his brutal team uh for one of the teams i'm oh, sorry i think it's actually hard it was hard we redid and reusing a few champions basically ram has like three in harmony so uh it's, it's one of them ones like we're gonna do a champion showcase yes i call it in harmony my apology i'm dyslexic and uh pronunciations are not my strongest alte or learning names or remembering names is my fault but i can promise you is I will make up for it in Ray Knowledge. So I will be dropping timestamps down below. You guys can go and check that out uh, to the bits and bobs uh, and stuff like that. So we'll be to run the tips and tricks, how to set up the AI, uh, and then we'll do the presets as well, which will all be down in the link. So you can go ahead and skip some of this if needed to. But I would recommend watching the whole video, obviously, because you're going to miss important details. I see this all the time. People in my comments will ask me, what about this? What about that? And I would have covered it somewhere within a video and I basically just skipped past it. So just take that into consideration, uh, et cetera. So it's my job to try and educate you guys on why we are like doing what we do. So generally the provoke on this ability here is pretty key. AOE decrease attack as well when it has a chance. And then uh, like a... Uh, very funky passive ability and etc and then a resistance aura as well just in arena though so nothing too funky there good base stats i'm not going to go for a kit don't really need to so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to show you the run we're going to do the run now so pretty fast into it we'll be on 2x speed so you can go ahead and in down below you can uh, basically like pause it or slow it down etc on your side this won't make the video as long as it needs to be. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's crack on with this, and then we'll show you all the presets and stuff.
Okay, so we are back. This is the team that we're using. Uh, so basically, uh, I can't show you the presets, Rams don't know his keys, but we do have the presets set up for this, uh, and then we can talk about it here. So basically, the presets is Duchess, we're always going to set up to revive. That's going to be the one. Uh, Lady Makagi is going to open with the A1, then do the A2, and then the A3. All right. And then Nekmar obviously do the A2, side A3 into A2, etc. Um, and then for in harmony, it doesn't really matter. And then for monkey, we want to use the, the block buffs straight away uh, and pretty much that. So then there's a couple of key things that I want to do and show you. And I'll show you that this is a full auto comp as well. So uh, this could be used on brutal as well for sure. Uh, I know Mr. Ram was super happy about it. So as you can see, there was A1 opening because Kagi is a bit faster, etc. So I didn't really want to confuse this. And that's why we're going to start with uh, Lady M, Lady M's A2 as well, just to cleanse the whole team. And then basically keep the veils on and grow the veils as well to make us basically uh, not Finny friendly. And then basically as well, we want to click on one of the heads, life, uh, DK or suffering, depending on who's up. And then the rest of the heads we want to avoid. And any time we're clicking on the heads really, it's to do with the devour, right? Uh, and then when the heads have been div uh, have uh, died, we want to be hitting the dead heads with whenever we can to increase our damage numbers, etc. So as you can see, we're doing incredible amount of damage here. Uh, Mr. Ram went from seven million to one hundred and thirty-nine million uh, and stuff like that. And all he has to do now really is just to do a bit of click, click, and he is on his way. So. Yeah, fairly good team as well. We don't have to worry about RNG too much. Um, so we're not really really using Lady Makagi's A2. Monkey can strip, so it's fairly good. Um, and stuff like that. So as you see here, she's doing a ton of damage, etc. You guys have always seen the run, so I'm going to go skip towards the end. And kind of just show you the numbers and stuff like that. Lady Makagi coming in with... 14 million point six. You could just see it behind my head. Dutch is coming in with 2.3. Netmo coming in with 33.3. So 32.3. Uh, you go with eight. Uh, uh, Sung Wang coming in with 37. And in Harmony coming in with an impressive 44 million. So yeah, um, I want to talk about how we built her and stuff like that. Because she's used for Arena and then I've built her for Hydra without changing any gear really which is super nice so let's go ahead let's look at the champions and the gear will be a bit of a uh fast one so this is his lady wakagi it's just built for arena really we didn't really change anything up you could make her more vava boom you can make her impressor there's like sets like reflex uh untouchable sorry not untouchable reflex uh relentless uh merciless uh there's one more set as well that i can think of that would be quite impressive on her but i can't think of which one right now off the top of my head but you can basically put like two sets on her etc for that uh which would be super super good and so yeah really all we are worried about is good speed <clears throat> and how i set her up as well uh basically allows her to be fine so we do have accuracy extra accuracy of 14 or hydra and then a bit of extra speed and then we're focusing about survivability then really so gear is pretty standard uh perfect for the arena i'm not too sure what the, the immunity piece is here but that is definitely sneaked on there somehow um brimstone for this and then again you could just run cheap and all that fairness if you want to use the same builds which is basically what a lot of people are doing and then we're going to come in with these masteries. So we've got War Master here, Cycle of Magic, Cycle of Violence, uh, Master Hexer as well. Uh, Master Hexer is probably better for the A2 when we want to use it. You can use the second form if needed to be. Or if uh, like someone stole all your buffs, like Mischief, for example, or Suffering uh, took it, put it with a... Uh, reflection and like he's devoured one of your champions he's gonna take extra turn 
then that could generally work as well, especially if you don't have a two available on the first form. Uh, so yeah, some key stuff to kind of take note from there. Uh, so yeah, pretty basic. Uh, so how is Nekmo doing so much damage? Let's take a look. We have got him in a curse set. Then this set is not amazing by far. There's a lot of work to be done, and again, nothing too special. So we have the speeds of 265, <coughs> 350 accuracy plus required. Obviously, we have the accuracy aura already, which is going to give me over 400 accuracy. I'm losing my voice. Uh, we have got a defense of about 2,700. Uh, really low on HP, actually. That's something we need to kind of work on. Uh, but as you can see, like, great survivability, etc. So, yeah, uh, something that we probably do need to work on just a tad swift bit. A lot of uh, work to still be done with Nekmo, which is great. And uh, again, these are the masteries. So uh, Master Hex are really key for the AOE decrease speed, etc. And then we got Cycle of Violence and Kill Stake and Life Drinker. And then Warm Master as well as Tier 6, but which is richly behind me there. And you can see Kill Stake right in the corner. So that's one thing as well to kind of look for. Um, and that's why he's basically doing so much damage. If he can get a bit of Brimstone or Cruelty in future with a bit more extra HP, which would be great. Uh, so then we've got the Duchess. So this Duchess isn't, isn't really amazing anytime soon, but uh, basically does the job right. So. This is the Duchess. Uh, we've got 115,000, 4,000 defense, uh, 250 speed, and that's it really. You don't really need resistance, any of that kind of malarkey. You don't need a regen and stuff like that. Really, you can get away with like 80,000 HP on this style of build. You can make it faster as well. Like You could take it towards range fat speed. This build was already being used for Arena. Uh, so we just recently kept her in that set. Um, and left her to do her thing really. Um, Mercy heal again is quite good on her. Uh, to get the extra heal and stuff like that. So it's basically like two immortal sets built into her, which is pretty nice. And then we're running Arena Mastery, so again, nothing too uh, special there really. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. He does want a second Duchess, but he doesn't have one at the moment. So he's just gonna have to wait for that. Then we've got who else do we need to show? We've shown Nick Murder to do you go, okay, and then your damage dealers. So uh you go pre self splanchy he's got four ready to empower to a plus four, which is good. But start off the masteries, assuming you can see them again, not finished. Uh War Master tier six. Uh I would rather take War Master over Eagle Eye. I don't think building like 350 accuracy is hard. For like in-game accounts, especially in Relentless, so for me, you should be always taking uh, that with her, really. Uh, Cycle of Magic key, and then Master Hexer as well. We don't have Master Hexer yet, but he will work on that as well for that. And then Cruelty for the Blessing, uh, generally high level Cruelty. And then we've got to have like extra here. You've got Accuracy, you've got extra Accuracy Substat, Survivability, and then all the way through. So she's pretty fast. I did want to slow in the Duchess. And really, she should be slowing the Duchess. But with Lady Makagi and how Lady M works with that uh, beautiful A2, we didn't really need to have to redo anything. So we made like a heap of mess look like pretty clean and, and stuff like that. So yeah, not too shabby. Uh, then let's go and see uh, Song Wang, who is the block buff champion. Obviously, Mr. Ram has two. So right now, as you can see, that there isn't enough accuracy and stuff like that. But when we go ahead and, and increase with the Hydra for hard affinity, it's worth like you only need like 320 accuracy or something like that. So it generally was pretty fine. I think it's when there's suffering or someone else where there's extra 50 resistance we might need to be careful of. Again, good speed, good critical damage. Good attack and then survivability really we can get it uh more or less so the level five blessing really does help there 
and generally quite good so again we've got to have the attack here critical damage and attack substat ring then we've got speed attack and critical damage and then all the way through so we can still bring in more critical damage more ignore defense etc mr ram does do a little bit of live arena so uh, there is a couple of things to worry about there as you can see we do have house washer is not the best for hydra in all fairness you do want to try and get war master but because he uses his song one in arena we have stuck with hound smasher uh, overall it doesn't make like a ton of difference but there is a bit of a difference when you're running for a long period of time so it's just again the kind of same kind of masteries but something a bit different uh I'd probably take life drinker as well life drinker is quite key for these type of things in hydra so again not the best masteries right now but for arena and this and anyway it's working right so like we're not gonna worry about too much uh we do have harvest cast as well we don't like want lightning cage in hydra because of mischief and then the one and the only we have this beautiful in harmony so she's got polymorph here which is uh again uh i suppose for arena um this is arena build so again she's in savage uh, but again, she's good speed, etc. And just kind of works with what she would have done. And with the accuracy, extra accuracy as well. Again, accuracy does need to be improved slightly. Like, we are still working on that. So, again, a bit more speed would be nice. But overall, it's working quite well. And, you know, she does do the most of the damage. So, there's a big improvement to come for this build. Uh, for sure. So, that's something we'll probably look at over... Uh, the next coming weeks and, and start looking at that together um, etc so uh, that's one thing me and Mr. Ram will work on there is the pieces at the set and then the tournament positions killing uh, that again house smasher here um, master hexer etc so generally she does the job with everything that we need to do her and monkey do a great job with uh, arena builds so you could personally build them for arena and then use them still there which is perfectly fine there's no gear swap there's nothing going on other than that so it's pretty nice team right like 130 million full auto obviously if you you know if you're sp1 sp2 you need to do be doing more damage than that i totally understand but about 90 percent of people that watch my channel are not going to be going for them crazy nutty teams uh, and anyway, they probably are doing manually already. So that's about it. Anyway, guys, I've talked enough today. Hopefully this really helps you and this will convince you to use your in harmony more. She is pretty insane for Hydra and uh, definitely really, really worth investing in overall. I did get asked the other day on stream. I was like, someone asked me, would you invest in? I was like, are we kidding? Like, is that a troll question? Because, you know, we are a bit trolly in stream and stuff like that. We have a bit of fun and a bit of banter. And I was like, is he is he trying to tease me? Uh, but no, he was actually being serious. Well, generally, I think he was, but it's it's one of them ones, right? So yeah. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoy that. Uh for Joe, thank you for watching to all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. About 75% of people who watch my videos at the moment are not subscribed to my channel, and it does really help me to move forward to the next milestone which is a tier 3 content creator and hopefully one day we can get that to get to test server access so i can do more building more videos more showcases and mythicals and and like epics and stuff like that right now i've got a big request for quite a few champions to do and try them in different contests so i'm looking forward to that and again we'll be starting to push with the cursed city soul cross challenge next month so go ahead and check that out. And again, if you guys are looking for any takeovers or uh, account, account coaching, we do do them in stream on my Twitch channel, which I'll put the links down in below. Anyway, guys, I've been Green Reaper. I've been talking enough. I'll let you guys go. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.